Being an artist here has been really great. It's super quiet, the neighbors are friendly, there's big trees which is unique in this part of town. It just has felt like a nice little retreat right in the middle of the city. When I first moved here, 22 years ago, there was only at the end of the street where NoHo West is now. It was just a parking lot and a single Macy's and a few scattered buildings. And there was an ongoing dispute that went for years and years, most of the time I lived here, over what to do with it. And it was really a downtrodden feeling. And then when they had the plans for NoHo West, the neighbors and I were like, wow, that looks really nice. They made these computer models and mock-ups of what it would be like. I can get there in four minutes, just to Trader Joe's, to the movie theater, gym, to the beauty supply store. There's an urgent care there, there's restaurants. It's so convenient and unique to have in LA where you can just walk to all those things. It's literally half a block away. <laughs> There's no other way to say it. It had shag carpet, cork board, and panel, wood paneling everywhere. I mean, it hadn't been renovated for a long time. It had all kinds of just weird colors, and I loved it because of the, the shapes. It's unique. It's a, it's a very beautiful home. It feels very comfortable here. It's cozy. It's spacious. The street is quiet. The neighbors are nice. The garden is beautiful. The pool is amazing. There's a lot of different rooms. You could also um, renovate the garage, which I always wanted to do and didn't do, but you could put an ADU in there. You could make it a home office. You could rent it out. You could even make a private walk to there. This house is now what I always wanted to make it be, but never had the resources. And I am, you know, newly married and moving uh, out of town, so we are very sad to leave this house. We wish we could move this house with us, but we are excited for a new family to live here.